Hi everybody and welcome back to this video. Today we will be discussing how users can sign up to your Moodle site. So in other words, how users can create an account on your site. Firstly, it is important to understand that every user needs to create an account first before they can enroll in any of your courses. Moodle calls this sign-up process authentication. So everyone who has created an account is considered an authenticated user. There are many options to create an account on your Moodle site, but only two major ways, I would say. Either you allow any user who visits your site to create an account, or you manually invite people to create an account. In my previous video, I talked about the first option. In this video, I will show you how we can manually create accounts for users, which is the safer method, but can also be a bit tedious if you do this with many, many students. But let's get started with this. To sign up your user to your Moodle site, you go to site administration as we always do. Then we click on users and simply click add a new user. Now you can basically fill out all the information for the user you're signing up. The user can change those details later in the profile settings um, or at least change the details that you as admin allow them to change. It starts with the username up here. Usernames in my opinion should be consistent in your site. You could for example take the first two letters of first and surname or something like that or add some numbers in it, whatever you want to come up with, for example like that. The authentication method is locked in here as manual accounts because that's what we're doing right now. We're creating a manual account. The suspend account option is not for us right now since we are creating an account. You can use this for existing users to suspend their account so that they can't log in anymore when they have done something naughty and you want to prevent them from logging into your site. But you can tick this box if you like, which automatically creates a password that is sent to the user's email address once you have finished setting up their account. So once you have clicked on create a user, the user can then change the password when logging in the first time. Alternatively, let's scroll up again. You can create a password for them yourself. Just type it in this text field here and that's it. Just be aware, if you choose to create your own password, the users won't automatically get notified that an account has been created for them. So you would have to go ahead and send an email to the user with a link to your Moodle site and the password you've just created. Again, if you tick to have the password generated by Moodle, an email will be sent out automatically. The next tick box here is again for existing accounts where you want to force the user to change the password on their next login if you for example think there has been a security threat well and then you just provide the first name surname and email address um, these are the mandatory fields and you can add all this other information that you might find important for users to have you can even upload a user picture if you have the user permission obviously but all these details can be added and edited by the user later anyway, so you don't have to worry too much about it. Now you scroll all the way down and click create user. Again, if you haven't clicked automatically generate the password, you will now have to send an email to the user, tell them that an account has been created so that they can log in for the first time. Once you created the account for the user, you will find that user in the users list. It directly takes it here, but if you don't know how to get there, you go to site administrations as we always do, click on users and then click browse list of users. The user whose account we just created is what Moodle calls an authenticated user. This user simply has an account on your Moodle site but is not a student yet. To become a student, the user would have to enroll in a course on your site. Let's quickly check out the settings of the user if we click here on the little edit icon you will see exactly the details that we just provided. This would also be the way how you can now force the password change for existing users or suspend their account like I showed you before. Altogether, this manual authentication process can be quite time consuming when you have many, many students to enroll. What you can do instead is bulk enroll many users at the same time using an Excel sheet. How that is done, I show you in the next video if you like. For now, Thanks a lot for watching and see you next time.